Hello viewers, in this tutorial, I will show you how to zoom in, zoom out, type or draw on your screen in Windows using this free app called the Zoomlet. I will give you the link to the download of the Zoomlet app. It comes as a zip file, so you have to unzip it and then you run. It will appear at your system tray, so you go down there and then you find it. You just click on it and then you find the options, you click on the options. Now you have four options, um, the zoom, the live zoom, the draw, the type and the break. Let me show you how they work. With the draw, the hotkey is uh, control Z. Now when you press the control Z, wherever you send the cursor, the mouse cursor, that place will be zoomed. You, you press escape on your keyboard to exit. So that is the zoom for you. Now let's see how the live zoom also works. It has the hotkey of Control A. You can change it when you when you want. Now by pressing Control A on your keyboard, it also zooms wherever you send the the cursor. So just like the zoom, like the live zoom also works like that. Now you press Control A, the same hotkey to exit. The difference between the zoom and the live zoom is that with the zoom, you don't have access to the cursor. It only zooms wherever the cursor is sent. But with the live zoom, you can still use the cursor. You can, you can um, navigate your computer whilst zooming wherever the cursor is at the same time. So this is the difference between the zoom and the live zoom. Now let me show you how the draw also works. So with the draw, as the name implies, the hotkey is Ctrl D. You just, by pressing Ctrl D, you can draw anything on your screen not only on the desktop but on your screen and then with the type you have to be in the drawing mode so whilst in the drawing mode by typing T on your keyboard and then you move it to whatever position you can type anything on your screen then you also have the break so this is a simple app um, that helps you to do better presentation and the screen screen capture thanks for watching and bye bye